viewers, you are all welcome to another episode of Sisters Keeper. Right here in the studio, we welcome you all, our viewers all around the world. Would you please share the page to your family, to your friends? Invite somebody. Uh, could it be your day that you'll be delivered? Right here in the studio, uh, we have the great woman of God, Apostle Dr. Sarah Bunja. She comes all the way from Uganda. She's here with us uh, on another episode, on another version. Uh, we are still continuing with the wounded woman. Uh, the scripture, the theme is uh, the, the head of uh, the... The seed of a woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. We stand in the scripture of uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Uh, she came loaded from Uganda. Uh, she's a great author of so many books. Uh, she has a very big ministry in Uganda. Um, I won't go so much into details, but I want to introduce to you her books. She has a uh, variety of books here and uh, I have all these books with me. I have read some of them and um, they are very powerful books. I want you and I re kindly ask you that you should buy these books uh, because they are full of knowledge. They are full of, uh, she wrote these books according to what she went, these books are part of her testimony. Um, let me start with the total divine healing. She has total divine healing. It is only $10. You can purchase these books right here uh, with Sister's Keeper. We have this book in our studio. Uh, the number is on the flyer. If you really need this book, uh, you can check the number on the flyer. We have total divine healing. It's a very powerful book she wrote. And uh, there is another book. Uh, called Freedom from Freedom from Yokes of Bondage is a very powerful book. I would request you to buy this book for you. Um, it is twenty dollars only. Uh, there is also another one, The Power of a Forg uh, The Power of Forgiveness. This is a very powerful book which you will need. Uh, your family needs this. Your husband, your father, anyone needs this book. It is a very powerful book. It is only $10. Uh, there is also uh, A Woman on Her Knees. It's a very, very beautiful book. Every mother needs this book. Uh, it's called The Power of a Praying Woman. This book is only $20. Would you spare $20 and buy this book for your family, for your friends, for your church? We have it here in the studio. Uh, $20 only you can purchase this book and we have also one of the best uh, the growing into Abigail growing into Abigail is a very powerful book which every woman out there needs this book and um, it's a, a trainer's manual uh, she speaks about an Abigail read about the content of an, Ab an Abigail so that you can also transform it will transform your life it will transform the society. If you really need this book, we have them in variety. It is only $20. And if you get a chance to buy these two books, she gives you one free as a gift. She sells these two. If you purchase two of these, you get one free of this book. Don't hesitate to contact us. We have them and the woman of God is still here in Massachusetts. She still has some. You can buy for your church, you can buy for a library, you can buy for somebody. Thank you so much. Uh, right here in the studio, I want to introduce you the one and only Apostle Dr. Sarah Bunjo, as we are still continuing with the wounded woman. Uh, let me introduce her to you. Would you please welcome her? Apostle, you are welcome uh, to the, our viewers all around the world. They are watching you. Thank you so much once again. I'm glad that you have invited me again to come and speak to these beautiful people who are watching us, maybe right away online or later or years to come watching this program. Thank you so much for being on this platform, Sisters Keepers. 
and uh, Mama Pastor, I want to call you Mama Pastor. I feel good when I call you Mama Pastor. I see that I'm putting you in your office. Thank you so much. Thank you for... so much. We are so, I'm so honored. Thank yes. you so much. And I want to thank God for the man of God who has allowed us to come again to speak to the congregation uh, as we are still going on with the topic of uh, a wounded woman. Yes. Uh, a, wound, a wounded woman, a woman who is wounded. Mm -hmm. And we started by seeing where our wounds come from, that it's a tug of war which sometimes we don't understand. And the enemy comes and he wounds us because he knows once you have wounded a woman, you have wounded a generation. Yes. Yes. Once you have wounded a woman, you have wounded a society. Mm -hmm. And sometimes women, we, 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 talk, we take it lightly and we think maybe it is our husbands, it's our children, our in-laws. But the problem is not with those people. The problem is with Satan. Mm -hmm. Satan has his mission and he's very smart to kill, to steal and to destroy. Mm -hmm. So when we don't, uh, when we don't, we don't re we know what battles we are fighting, you may end up fighting with everyone. Yes. So we, uh, to do just a recap, we heard about the how wounds come to, uh, to, to us and the mm. characteristics of a wounded person. We, mm. we talked about uh, bitterness. Yes. Though, they, though there are many, there, there is betrayal. Mm. Uh, there is, uh, there is uh, wounds that come through betrayal. There are wounds that come through rejection. But now we, we, we focus so much on, on bitterness. And we said if you are bitter, it turns out into unforgiveness. Yes. So we concluded our last episode by talking ab about forgiveness or unforgiveness. Mm. And we said that unforgiveness is a spiritual cancer. I mean, that's how I see it. Because it eats you eats slowly. You slowly, yes. slowly, when you're not knowing. At yeah. the outside, you may, be, you may seem to be good. Mm. You may seem to laugh, but that's a plastic you know, smile. Yes. You, know, you can just put on everything good, but when inside you are dying, and we remember we read a scripture in Psalms 109 yes. when this man was for, who were confessing that mm. I am poor and needy mm. and I have pain. Mm. My heart is broken and I have pain. Mm. So unforgiveness is, is a, a pain that you have inside you that no man can know it. Mm. You can stay with your husband or a man stays with a wife when she has unforgiveness but not, not knowing that she has that disease. Uh, that uh, disease. Mm. This door, I call it a major door that brings in every kind of sicknesses. Mm. People who have unforgiveness who, who, or who fail to forgive, most of them you find them having high blood pressure. Yes. Uh, diabetes, insomnia. You know, insomnia is so rampant in this generation. So many people are suffering insomnia. They tell you we don't sleep, we don't sleep. And I tell you, these sicknesses, they have no cure except to go to Jesus. I know that the world has tried to fight it superficially, but all those uh, drugs are just superficial. People mm. take antidepressants because when you have unforgiveness or bitterness, all those kinds of whatever, you end up into uh, depression. Mm. And there's no, no medicine can heal depression. Of course, you know that the, the doctors will try to give you antidepressants, but at the end of the day, when you take antidepressants, you end up, you know, you have to live on them or you, 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 you end up, you know, in, in, in disaster. Your, mm. uh, your life ends up, you know, in, in, in a bad way. So right. it's only Jesus who can heal the broken hearts. Heart, yes. And he has that mission. One of his agendas when he was coming, he said, I have come to heal the broken hearted. Mm. So it is Jesus who can just take out that sickness. Amen. And forgiveness is a master key that takes people to hell. Mm. Whether you are a Christian or not, whether you are a pastor or a prophet, very powerful. You can pray for people and they fall down and some climb on the tree, whatever. But when you have unforgiveness, definitely you're going to end up in hell. Mm. Unforgiveness disconnects you with God concerned, according to scriptures. Um, we read um, in Matthew chapter 5, I mean 6, that our, our, our Savior, he taught us our daily prayer. <clears throat> and forgiveness was in included. Forgiveness was included. Mm. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
And then forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. But Jesus continued to say that if you forgive your, 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 your other people their trespasses, then your Father in heaven will also forgive you. So you see that condition, that you first forgive, then you are also forgiven. And he said, if you don't forgive, even your Father in heaven will not forgive you. So forgiveness is very, very important for us, not only as Christians, but to everyone. Amen. So, um, in, in the scriptures, we are going to read a few scriptures about it, but they are deep. When we have been wounded, we often refuse to grant forgiveness because we feel being taken for granted. When people ask for forgiveness, or sometimes when somebody offends you and you know you, you forgive him the first time, the second time, the third time, he will say, ah, I think we are taking for granted. Mm. But there is this man, uh, all of us we know about, uh, I think it was Peter, one of the disciples in Matthew 18, mm. when he asked Jesus that, Master, how many times should I forgive, forgive my brother? Is it seven times? Jesus said, yes. indeed, I tell you, it is seven times 70. 70. That is 499 My. years. I mean, day, day, times. Times, yes. And in a year, we have 365 mm. days. So it means that every day God has given us an opportunity to forgive, plus a bonus of like maybe 14 days, you know, 100 and 365 days. To, to forgive every day has its grace to forgive each day you have grace to forgive mm. that's why he says seven times whatever you know you did Amen. so we need to forgive our brothers it is not easy I myself I have a testimony about forgiveness actually I lost a child I lost a child because of unforgiveness it was a very tough moment but that if God allows me I will give that testimony if not let us first understand forgiveness. Choosing to not to forgive is like taking poison and waiting for the other person to die. Mm. If you choose to, to forgive, it's like you, you yourself you have you've taken, you know, a mm. uh, poison. I have this example of losing a child. I want so much to refer to scriptures because it is the word of God that gives us direction. It is the word of God. It, it is a lamp. It is a guide. You know? So, Mark 11, 25, Mark 11. you are going to read for us Mark in 11. Yes, 25. Okay, NLT. Um, Mark 11. I want it in Amplified Classified, amplified. if you can get it. Yeah. Mark 11, because 25. Because unforgiveness will hold you back from healing and moving forward. So many people who are listening to us over there, they are stuck. They can't go on. They feel the world is, has ended, you know, because of unforgiveness. It can't allow you to move forward. Mm -hmm. So uh, Mark 11, 25, Amplified Version reads, uh, 25, whenever you stand praying. Can we start from verse 24, please? Okay, 24. It reads, um, you say 24, Mark 11, 24, reads, for this reason, I am telling you, for this reason, I am telling you, whatever things you ask for in prayer, mm. uh, bracket, in accordance with God's will, mm -hmm. believe, uh, bracket, confident trust, that you have received them. Did you notice that any prayer we make according to God's will? Mm. So sometimes we pray prayers which are not even in God's will. And you right. see people giving up, you know, I'm tired, I ask God to do this. It not, but your prayer, the prayer that God answers, it must be according, according, to, according to God's his will. will. Not, not, our according, will. not our will. Yeah, that one, I wanted us to note is, it. Because I see many people struggle, struggling in, with prayer. Mm. 
that we pray, but, but I've prayed, God has not answered. Oh, I prayed this and God gave me another. No, it has to be in line with God's will. Right. So one of his will is through forgiveness. Let's go on. Okay. Mm. And uh, it says, uh, continuation, on 24, it says um, that, uh, let me read it again so that we can get there. For this reason, I am telling you, Whatever things you ask for, a, for in prayer, in accordance with God's will, believe with, a, with confidence, with confident trust that you have received them. And they will be given to you. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 25, whenever you stand praying, mm -hmm. if you have anything against anyone. Whenever you stand praying. praying whenever. In the morning, in the noon time, at, uh, in, in, in the night, whenever you say that. And remember, prayer is part of life. Mm. Prayer is breath. You have to pray day and night. Right. You are, because he said, my house shall, shall be, be a house, a of, house of, of prayer. prayer. So prayer is an act activity that has to be happening in our lives. Mm. Every day, 24-7, our altars must be burning with prayer. But mm. he says, whenever you feel like, whenever. I want to talk to God, because what is prayer? Man talks to God and God talks to man. To, to man. Yeah? So it's our two-way traffic. So whenever yeah, you this. feel you want to talk to God, mm. forgive. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, it says, whenever 25, you want. Mm -hmm. If you have anything against anyone, mm -hmm. forgive him. I want us to go line by line. No, okay, I love the word of God. Let me go back to 25. Mm. Whenever you stand praying, mm -hmm. comma, if you have anything against anyone, anything against anyone, comma, against your pastor, against your sister, against your husband, against your children, against anyone, against anyone. Whenever we he stand. said anything. Mm. If he says anything, it is anything. Because sometimes we know how to classify. We say this, uh, this one, no, no, no. This one did this. This one, it, it, it was a big thing. This one is a medium, whatever. He says anything. You feel you, are, you have, of, you are offended in anyhow. Somebody has offended you. Somebody has hurt you. Anything. If forgive. you have it, anything. Against anyone. Forgive. It's a it command. Says, uh, if you have anything against anyone, mm. Forgive him. Drop the issue. Let it go. It's an instruction. Now this is Sarah Bunge is going to, to pray. She remembers she has something against Pastor Marina. Mm. God says, number one, I have to forgive you. I have to drop what I'm holding. Yes. You, did you see? Drop it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it do what? Says, drop the issue, uh -huh. let it go. Let it go. Yeah. You know all the, the process you see? Mm. Number one, you acknowledge you have it. So, yes, you offended let me. Let it go. But God says I have to drop it. After dropping it, let it go. Because there are people who say, I forgave. I dropped it, but they never left it to go. Yeah. Do you and see that process? Yes. You have to let go. Let go. Mm-hmm. And then uh, continuation, it says, so that your father mm -hmm. who is in heaven uh -huh. will also forgive you. you. Did you see the measure? Yes. The so condition. That, yes, drop it, let it go so that your father in heaven would also forgive you. You see? Yes. So uh, let us go slowly because this topic, as I told you, we will finish it. We are not going to finish it. Yes. We will stop where we will stop. The next time when God gives us a, another chance, we will continue with, with that uh, message of mm. power of forgiveness. Mm. First of all, he says, if you have anything against anyone, drop it. Drop it. Yes. When we say drop it, and he says, let it go. Do you know that people is still, are still accusing dead people? People died many years ago, <laughs> but they say, say they, nice. even when they bypass the, 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 cast the, the grave, grave yeah? they cast the grave. Oh my God. You see them when they're talking about those people. That stepmother, that woman, that man, that what, that what, you know, even you feel anger coming, stirring up in you. But Let's Jesus has said, drop it and let it go. Don't just, because something you drop and not, don't let it go, you might pick it up tomorrow. 
some of us we know how to drop for three months yeah, or but, years. But apostle, there are also things to, people do on other, like for instance, uh, I'll give, I won't say about other people, let me give an example of me. Mm. Um, when I was growing up, I grew up with a stepmother. Mm. She used to lock me in a store mm. where there is no food, no nothing, and mm. there's only charcoal, mm. a bag of charcoal, and she would tell me, that is your lunch mm. and dinner. Mm. And I would not eat for two days, mm. And then sometimes she'll give me the rotten food, mm. the one that is, you know those beans in mm. Uganda, the rotten, and she'll tell me that is your food. Mm. And I, I would eat and get sick. Mm. And then I also started getting bitter. Mm. I started to not forgive this mm. woman because she would punish me like mm. I did something terrible. Mm. And sometimes she would lock me with a basin of water that that is your lunch. Mm. I got sick. Mm. And uh, there was a time I got hungry, like I want to eat. Mm. And I ended up, that is part of the testament I've never shared mm. out there. Mm. But it comes, I, I bring it out because mm. there is something when somebody does something to you on mm. several occasions, not mm. one time, mm. on several occasions. Mm. Like, okay, I can do it for once, but mm. on several occasions, you see the thing is going on for one year, two years, mm. and this is the kind of life you live how really can you forgive because by then i wasn't even given my life to christ i don't want us to forget that this battle we have our enemy the devil we don't we, we cannot we cannot put him outside what we are saying mm. so satan uses everyone anyone he uses anyone as long as you are free he can even use me if I'm, if I'm ready for him to use me, if I'm empty, if I'm void of the Spirit of God, so he can enter into somebody and use somebody to, you know, to, to destroy somebody's destiny. So it is the devil that was using that woman. Like me, I also grew up with a stepmother. If I told you my testimony, my testimony, that's why I, when I talk about forgiveness, mm. but Joseph said what the enemy tended bad, God turned out to be good for me. Now, what the enemy used right. to, and all that I went through. Now, that the testimony is I, I speak to people and people get delivered. Mm. I, I also grew up with different stepmothers. I used to sleep on, on a sack, you know. They could just finish eating everything and they put me on a sack without a blanket, without anything. I used to get my food on, on a garbage pit, you know. Sack That's why, yes, my lunch, I would just go and eat from yeah. the garbage. I, I was mistreated, being abused, you know, you are nothing. So many happened to me. That's how my, my, my soul w was bruised. That's how my spirit was broken. But now that is the reason why Jesus came. He cannot tell us to do something we cannot do. And by the way, he knew that in our own strength, we can't do it. That's why he said, I'm not leaving you yes. and as orphans. I'm sending you a helper, a helper. who is the Holy Spirit. Yes, so yes. it is the Holy Spirit that helps us to forgive those people. Mm. You know, like Jesus, the way he was mistreated. Jesus was the son of God. He is the king of kings. You know, he was everything. But the way they mistreated him, they abused him, they spat on him, oh they beat him, you know, he took everything yeah. bad on him. But you know what, to uh, as, as he was going to die, Father, to forgive them. Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. Because yeah. Jesus knew, without forgiveness, you cannot enter heaven. You cannot cross over to heaven. There is even this, this uh, uh, other man of God, Steve, Steve, uh, Stephen, in Acts chapter 7. They stoned yes. him. Yes, the yes. man spoke every word. He mentioned the Bible, every word that was written in the Bible. Then people, people's anger was uh, aroused and they started throwing stone on him. But the Bible tells us as he was about to die, he lifted up his eyes. When he saw the yes. son of man seated on the throne, he said, Father, forgive them. Because the only gap that was between him and heaven was unforgiveness. He said, forgive them. Yeah? So, this is now Jesus telling us, if you are standing to pray, you remember that you have anything yes. against anyone, forgive, forgive drop, and drop let that it go. Issue. Yeah, let so it that go. your Father in heaven may forgive you. That is a condition. Uh -huh. It says, um, continuation with the 25, it says, uh, so that your Father in 
is in, so that your father who is in heaven will also forgive you forgive your transgressions yes um, and wrongdoings mm -hmm. against him and others mm -hmm. 26 says but if you do not forgive uh -huh. but if you do not forgive Ocho. Neither will your Father uh -huh. in heaven uh -huh. forgive your transgressions. Is that in your Bible? Yes. Listeners, those <laughs> who are watching us, okay, we are struggling with forgiveness. Is that in your Bible? If you don't give your brother or sister your short, their shortcomings, even you, your Father in heaven will not forgive you. That is the condition. Yeah. So we have no choice so except some, some forgive. Some Bible says, like, um, bring the sacrifice before you give in your sacrifice. That is Matthew chapter 5. Yes. If you are bringing your sacrifice, or you are going to fast, well and good. Yeah. You are going to praise or worship, okay. But before you reach, you stand on this pulpit and you remember that you have something against your brother. Yeah. Drop your sacrifice. Go and settle the matter with your brother and then you bring your sacrifice. So how many of us bring sacrifices to God and our sacrifices do not reach God? And even he, say, he said in, 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 uh, in, in, in Ephesians chapter 4 that if you get angry, don't allow the sun to go down, go on, down your on your anger. Yes, the, I mean, there's so several, many scriptures. Several, several yes, he says you, you don't allow. It's okay to get angry, but don't allow it to, to stay overnight. Why? Because it, unforgiveness is a seed. If it takes root and, until tomorrow, You'll, it will be difficult for you. It's going to become a stronghold and it will turn out into bitterness. Mm. That's why we said that bitterness brings out unforgiveness. So it turns into bitterness. So Jesus told us, you know what, as we are going to finish on that topic, it has, the Bible has told us clearly, mm. clearly, that if you forgive other people's shortcomings, then your father in heaven will forgive you. If you don't forgive, your father will not also forgive you. So how many prayers do we pray and they don't reach God? Many he says, prayers. my hand is not shortened. Yes. My ear is not but deaf. Your but your transgressions mm. have, have separated me from you. Mm. And how do we take our transgressions? Through repentance. Mm. And he says, for you to be forgiven, first mm. forgive others that if you do not forgive your brothers, mm. even your father in heaven, let us end with this story in Matthew chapter 18. From Matthew verse, 18. yes, Matthew 18. Matthew you, 18. Mm. Amplify? No, you can just read NLT. NLT. Okay, from which? You can read from verse uh, 20. From verse 20. Okay. From verse 20, it reads, for where two, for where two or three mm. gather together mm. as my followers, mm. I am there mm -hmm. among them. Continue. Yeah. Uh, 21 says, Then Peter came to him and asked, mm -hmm. Lord, mm -hmm. how often should I forgive someone? Uh -huh. How often should I Even, forgive someone? Uh, uh, the, our, people who are watching us, they are there who are asking, uh, uh, Sha, Mrs. Bunjo, how many times <laughs> should I forgive this man? Yes. How many sh times should I forgive this woman? How many times? Peter also was wondering that you're telling me to forgive, mm -hmm. that if I don't forgive, even my father in heaven will not forgive. So how many times do you want me to forgive? What did Jesus say? Um, Lord, how often should I forgive someone mm. who sinned against me? Mm. Seven times? No, uh, verse 22 says, no, mm -hmm. not seven times. Mm -hmm. Jesus repri replied, but 70, 70 times, 70 times, mm -hmm. se 70 times seven. Well, that is 490 times. Wow, 70 times seven. Uh-huh, okay, let's continue. Verse 23, mm -hmm. there are four, comma, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king mm -hmm. who decided to bring his accounts up mm -hmm. to date mm -hmm. with servants who had borrowed money mm -hmm. 
from him. Mm. Uh, verse 24. In the process, comma, one of his debitors was brought in was brought in who owed him millions of dollars. Mm. Verse 25. He couldn't pay, he could not pay, so his master ordered that he be sold. Mm -hmm. Along with his wife, his children, comma, and everything he owned to pay the debt. Mm. Verse 26. Oh, is it 20? yeah. 26? But the man fell down before the master and begged him, please, mm. comma, be patient with me, comma, and I will pay it all. Mm -hmm. Verse 27. Then his master was filled with pity for him and he released him and forgave his debt. Mm -hmm. Verse 28. But when the man left the king, he went to fellow servant who owned him a few thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. He grabbed him by the throat. The other one was oh a million, God. and this one this just thousand. thousand. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, by throat and demanded instant payment. Mm -hmm. Verse 29. His fellow servant fell down before him and begged for a while more time. Be patient with me, comma, and I'll pay it. He pleaded. Verse 30. But his creditor wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put, put in prison until the debt could be paid in Imagine. full. Imagine. Uh -huh. Oh, my Lord. Mm -hmm. Verse 20. 32. Verse 30. Is it 31? Mm. Yeah, 31. When some, of, when some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that has happened. 32. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. 33. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant mm -hmm. just as I had mercy on, on you? you? Uh -huh. 34. Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be tortured until he had paid his entire debt. Verse 35. That is why my heavenly father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. God bless you. Can I add on anything? No. Self-explanatory. No. We leave that one for people to read. The next time I'll give my testimony. You know, this man was had a debt of just 10,000 and the other was a million. So the one who had a million, they forgave him. But this one who, who had his whatever, 10,000, he refused to, to forgive him. He decided to beat him it up and whatever. Uh -huh. And he brought, so, he brought a torture on himself uh -huh. again. Because so yes. Jesus said, ah, for, me, for you, I forgave you. But you have refused to forgive your brother. So let them, they, may you be thrown into the fire. Oh, so he said, that's how it's going to happen. You might be a very powerful prayer warrior. Mm. You might be a very powerful prophet. Mm. They call you a man of God. But if you refuse to forgive... This is Matthew 35, that's what, what the Bible tells us, that that's how God is going to treat us. If we refuse to forgive, we are going yes. to be thrown mm. into hell. Mm. Not because we, we, we stole, not because we committed adultery, but simply because we refuse to forgive. That's why forgiveness is very, very, very important. Dear brethren, brethren I know we've been so much ill-treated and we, it's, it's unfair to us. And even those people don't come back to, 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 to apologize, you know. They just walk on us, they trade on us. But this is what the Bible says, forgive, drop, and let go. Anything we cannot do, we have the Spirit of God. Now it's time to turn to the wall and cry to the Holy Spirit to help you, to, uh, yes. to invite him to come and forgive those people through us. Mm. Because it is him who gives us strength, you know. He said he will not leave us as orphans. He said he will help us. So, the Holy Spirit is there to help us. I know you are hurting. I know 
it's such a difficult moment. I know, maybe they killed your family, they killed whatever, but now you want to die and go to hell? It's better to go to Jesus and allow him to heal your wounds because he's the only one who knows who suffered the betrayal. Mm. You imagine his colleague, J Judas, his best friend, that whom where they were sharing, betraying him. That wasn't easy for Jesus to forgive, but he had to do it so that we get an example of forgiving. And forgiveness blocks our blessings. Yes. And forgiveness leads us into frustrations. And forgiveness takes us into depression. And forgiveness, it is a master key that opens up hell for us. I know you are As there. As you said, it's like a cancer. It's, it's like cancer. It eats you slowly in the night when you are sleeping. That's when you start to think about that person and the devil amplifies it, amplifies it and amplifies it. It's better to turn unto Jesus and you fall on his feet and you say, Jesus, it, I, I can't, I can't. Like you pray for other things. Yeah, People there pray, is this pray for status. Yes. They fast. Mm -hmm. They pray for money. They fast. They pray for children. So now it's time to pray for God to release right. the spirit of forgiveness mm -hmm. in our lives. Thank you so much again for hosting me. And I think we can pray with these people. Yes. I know they are there mm -hmm. who are feeling that it's hard. Um, I went through that also. Mm -hmm. It was not easy for me, but the Holy Spirit helped me. And I released that person. And I know by the power of the Holy Spirit, you can also do it. If you want to pray with us like, dear Jesus, I would you like to say help them help them to speak the same words I speak? Okay. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. For dying for me. For dying for before me. Before I even knew you. Before I even knew you. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I ask you. I ask you. For, for to forgive me. To forgive me. For unforgiveness. For unforgiveness. I repent. I repent. Jesus. Jesus. I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. I ask for grace. I ask for grace. Release your grace. Release your grace. That I may forgive those that people. That I may forgive those Today people. I choose to forgive. Today I choose to forgive. And I let them go. And I let them Give go. me divine power. Give me divine Give power. Give me divine help. Give me divine help. So that I release these people. So that I release Take this people. thorn out of my heart. Take this thorn out of I my heart. I want to be free. I want to be from free. Forgiveness. From unforgiveness. You spirit of unforgiveness. You spirit of unforgiveness. I rebuke you. I rebuke I you. I break you. I break you. I cast you out of my I life. You out of in my the name life. of Jesus. In the name of from Jesus. today I declare from today that I, declare I am free. That I am free. For it is written. From it is whoever written. Whoever the Son sets free. Whoever the Son of God is free God indeed. Free. Is free Thank indeed. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For healing me. For healing and me. for setting me free. For setting me free. Father, we pray for those people. Father, pray for those we pray for them. We pray that you give them more power, more grace to, to forgive their enemies. May the spirit of God be found in their hearts to love their enemies. Give us grace to love our enemies. Give us grace to pray for them. Father, we thank you for you are doing a new thing in our lives. We bless those people who have been watching. We bless this studio. We bless the sisters keepers, Father. Bless this ministry. Let it go and possess the gates of its enemies in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, and we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So one time when we get another chance, yes. we will continue with forgiveness and see how God tells us to deal with our enemies. Yes. Nabon, briefly, he told us, pray for them. Mm. Do them good. Mm. Like right now you have prayed, just send a text message. Mm. Just, just say hi. Or just say, I forgive you. I know it, is, it sounds hard, but if you start, the Holy Spirit will give you uh, uh, divine power. To, to go through it. God bless you so much. Amen. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you so, so much. We are, we are so honored to have you again here on Sisters Keeper Studio. We really appreciate you so much. Uh, we hope to see you because you have so much Amen. to download. Amen. We need so much from you. And um, if we get any chance, maybe you can give us that testimony mm. because uh, we would like to hear because testimony the word of God says they overcame him by the blood of Jesus and, and by the, the word, word of, of their, their testimony. testimony. So this testimony can deliver somebody, can bring someone close, can make somebody forgive someone. We really need to hear that testimony. Maybe when we get a chance from you, 
we will hear from you. And you so once much. again, thank you so much. Thank you too. We really, we don't take this for granted. And we want to thank all our viewers who have been watching us. Thank you so much for being patient with us. Thank you for all, we bless you all who are online. We bless you all from the walks of life, wherever you are watching from. So um, this is Apostle Sarah Bunjo's books. She has great knowledge in these books. Would you please reach out via our phone, via our page? You can send a message on uh, also Fireplace Church. You can reach also Sister Skipper. You can reach on the numbers that are on the flyers. Uh, get a copy for yourself, for your family, so that you can be delivered from that bitterness, from that anger, from that, uh, you, we all need to forgive. Forgiveness is the main door that can lead us to breakthrough, to blessings. Thank you so much. Uh, may God richly bless you. We can't wait to see you again. Shalom. Bye-bye.